Hello, welcome back to Attention Deficit Gaming. I just took down the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man in the last episode, and well, I guess we're gonna find out what's up and what's next. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was again? not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Jeanine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Perk around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters, and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Bankman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Is it just me or did the lip movements seem a bit out of sync? Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun collider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Alright. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Elisa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. True.
Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Oh, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it going to go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Gray Lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Big crowd. Bankman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. A real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for balances. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Whoa! Look out! There they go! Whoa! Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You hurt, Stance. Let's move. There they are! A couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. But they're really agitated. Switching on the fence. Take it easy. That's not easy. Miss! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I've got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. You use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. Okay. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Okay. Cool! A breeze ray. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold. But the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Okay, this is neat. for that. Uh, do, 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 do. Heat reduction. Uh, got just enough. It has been found that adding a positive graviton filter to the shock blast condenser ring can do and decreases the heat cost for each generated pulse of high density stripped dark matter particles. This reduces the, the heating cost of each blast, allowing the device to be fired more to be fired more before risking overheating because the glare from the graviton filter's vent or vent array because the glare from the graviton filter's vent array can cause temporary blindness. Please refrain from looking directly into the neutron neutrino wand when, when a blast is triggered. Uh wouldn't that require like it being pointed right at your face to do that. Because that would obviously be a bad idea. 
Adding a secondary particle inhibitor to the device's accumulator core decreases the stasis stream's heat accumulation rate, allowing the device to be fired for much longer periods before risking an automatic overheating shutdown. Please note that... Uh, please note that... Uh, OR particle... Please note that OR particle in the backflow can result in numb fingers and hands. Also, avoid undue wand contact or risk experimenting uh, fleeting feelings of ennui, angst, and boredom-laced paranoia. Okay. I feel like he's right on top of me, plus because of the sounds. Whoa! That's right. Wherever you are, Uncle Wookie just wants to chat. Is it in the other display? Looks like it. I've seen this room before. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here, to your right! Strong emanations, no direct source, though. We followed our guy in here, and he gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. How strong? Here comes something big! An example of a level six bi dimensional attract. Sorry. Did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? I right, might as well check this thing out. Uh, weakness to the shock blast, of course. Golems can bend objects to their will, manipulate them to form portions of their own physically connected and physically manifested form. PK energy greatly enhances the golem's ability to reconstitute damage or destroy portions of its body. This golem was formed from overly energetic PKE charged PKE charged books in the public library. You missed. Slow it down.
say what happened. I'm not sure it's telling me to equip the PKE meter. Ow. Emanations, no direct source though. We followed our guy in here. He gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong and uh -oh. here comes something big. Now that is a yeah. fine example of a level six bidimensional attack. Egon, did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? So fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is. Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way. Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. She shocked us again. That witch! Now oh, this is a library. I suppose it's possible if you remain quiet. No, a lot of people quiet. She wouldn't slam them a whole lot or whatever it is she did last time. I don't quite remember. PKE's out and try to be quiet. A full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Check what out? I've got something. Ah! Kid, check that out. Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the great. All right, the great. Why do they call it the great lady, but it says librarian ghost? Eh, whatever. Doctor Eleanor Twitty was the head librarian of the New York Public Library and overseer its collection of ancient artifacts, stone tablets, and thought-forgotten parchments. In March 1924, Dr. Twitty went missing. The New York Police Department made every, made every effort to find her, including repeated room-to-room -room searches of the underground library stacks where she was last seen, but she was never found. Alive, that is. Now she wanders the stacks of the New York City Public Library, still organizing books and keeping louder, <laughs> louder library patrons shushed with a bunny finger to the lips. By most appearances, she is still the same quaint and genteel-looking woman she was in life. Aggravate her, however, she transforms to rage-filled horror and heaven help you if you have any uh, overdue bucks. <laughs> uh, She's boy. the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Damn. Lost it. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. I'll have to make new charts. <laughs> wow! Now listen, this place is reading like a psychic pressure cooker. Find your thrower. Everybody stick close together. What was that? Here, quick. Man, so much for stick together. New plan is fan out. Flexible approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming. 
roaming around in here. There's two that we know about. Now I got you. What? Oh no, kid, look out! It's coming your way! Dang. Almost got a picture. What's even weird is how they use the ragdoll physics when the when a character just gets knocked down but is still fine and then you know they just get right back up. Why the ragdoll physics is that? The event imminent. Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings. All about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. The Collector. Hmm. Come on. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Cooney, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. Okay. Okay. Kind of would have figured it would happen. If this wasn't Ghostbusters, I probably would have jumped a little bit more than I did. Neat. That's right, kid. that paper construct uh i can teleport it's interesting drawn inexplicably inexplicably to old libraries and archives these malicious apparitions apparitions have been known to clothe their insubstantial forms with paper books tomes parchments and even ancient scrolls in order to manifest and interact with the world with the mortal mortal world Blah. Paper constructs seem to be lesser manifestations that are controlled by more powerful entities. If only print was dead. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if like the whole thing of if only print was dead was present in the original version, because uh, with the internet being what it was back then, print was mostly dead. Well, literal print. These days, it's... If it ain't all dead, it's pretty darn close. Okay, guys, it's dead up here. The good kind, I mean. You all cool? We may need to get back to you on that one. Hey, kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel, moving fast, towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky but combustible. At first I was thinking that being in a dark tunnel, moving towards a bright light was a bad sign. I suppose I probably should have seen that coming. Whoa! Look at them all! Some help here. Yeah, right. Crap! Wait, crap, that's not what I meant to do. Wrong button. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured that's what it did. Okay, guys, 
since he's dead up here. The good kind of me. You all cool? We may need to get back to you on that. Hey kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof! Last one swarmers! Pesky but combustible. Don't worry, me, I got you. As always, folks, if you like this content, hit that like bell. If you want to keep up on future, if you like this content, hit the like button. If you want to keep up on future updates, hit that like bell. But until next time, folks, I will see you, and do not stop being awesome. Bye bye.